When a former race car driver's wife is kidnapped, he is told to complete a series of tasks in order to ensure her survival. However, things take a turn for the worse for him when a young girl tries to steal the car he was driving and gets dragged into helping him rescue his wife. She uses her knowledge of technology to outsmart the kidnapper and help the racer outrun the police while at it. The movie begins with a former race car driver, Brent Magna, arriving at his apartment and finding it trashed. Brent discovers that someone had broken into his apartment while his wife was setting up the Christmas tree. He walks through the hallway and notices broken glass all over the floor along with his wife's blood. Just then, his wife's cell phone starts ringing indicating that an unknown caller is calling. When he picks it up, a man tells him that he is his wife, and in order to keep her alive, he will have to follow his instructions. The man orders Brent to steal a luxury car from a parking lot at exactly 4.30. With no other choice left, Brent immediately rushes to the parking lot and finds the car. As soon as he gets inside, he finds several cameras attached to the interior, allowing his wife's kidnapper to keep an eye on him. The kidnapper reminds him that he is being watched and that it has been a long time since he has driven, but he only has a few minutes to get to the top of the city to ensure that his wife makes it out alive. He threatens that if the police follow him and manage to catch him, his wife will be killed. This was all the motivation that Brent needed and his racer instincts came into play. He rashly drives the car past several patrol cars and makes it to the top of the city without anyone following him. There, he receives another call from the kidnappers who tell him that they will assign tasks to him that he will have to complete if he wants to see his wife alive. When Brent asks him if his wife is still alive, he hears his wife screaming his name before the phone is cut off. Meanwhile, Brent's wife is locked inside an old building in Sofia, Bulgaria. Back in the city, Brent gets flashbacks of his time with his wife while driving. When his cell phone starts ringing again, the kidnapper asks him to speed up before turning at an intersection. Brent realizes that the man is guiding him into a Christmas market. At first, he resists, telling the man that there are too many people, but he is forced to knock down a stage where a man is giving a speech. Then, he takes the car down the stairs, almost crushing several people. Just as he relaxes with the first task completed, the man guides him into an underground parking lot. Busy reminiscing about his wife, Brent does not notice as a young girl sneaks up to his car and points a gun at him. She tells him to get out of the car but just as he is about to get out, the man tells him not to get out. He twists the girl's arm and manages to take away her gun. All of a sudden, the man tells him to start driving with the girl inside the car. Brent starts driving and tells the girl to wear her seatbelt. The girl refuses to wear it and notices Brent locking the car. This is when the man orders Brent to kill the girl. At first, he hesitates but then points the gun at the girl. He isn't able to shoot her and tells the man that he is not a killer. Pleased, the man orders him to keep the girl with him and make sure they are not caught by the police. As Brent starts speeding up, the girl tries to take control of the steering wheel but he is too strong for her. Just then, the girl sees police cars coming up behind them climbs out of the window, and starts screaming for help. Brent manages to pull her back in and maneuvers around the police cars, causing several of them to crash. Then, a police car tries to box him in, but he turns the car away and gets away. Once they are out of immediate danger, Brent tells the girl that she needs to check if anyone is in the car before stealing it. The girl reveals that she was not going to steal the car because it is her car. She only wanted to scare him away. Curious, Brent asks her how she knew where to find her car and she tells him that a police officer had called her and informed her where her car could be found. Brent points out that police officers don't call you to tell you about a stolen car. She asks him to let her go since she can pay him but he is not interested in her money. In Sofia, the old man alerts police dispatches about a stolen car and has them chase Brent. In the car, the girl asks him what he needs and Brent apologizes for not letting her go because he needs to follow all the instructions to keep his wife alive. He confesses that he does not know what is going on and who the man is. At the same time, two men pull his wife up and start recording a video of her and show it to Brent. The man tells him that he only has four minutes to get away from the police cars or his wife will be killed. He listens to the man's instructions and smashes up police cars as he tries to outrun them. However, he gets cornered in an alley but uses his skills as a former race car driver and narrowly escapes. With only two minutes remaining, Brent speeds the car up and loses a few more cars. Before he can relax, the man reminds him that there are more police cars chasing him. He backs up the car through another intersection. With only five seconds left, he arrives at the location given by the man. He congratulates Brent for completing another task. Sometime later, the girl pulls out an iPad and starts hacking into the cameras to find out who is watching them. However, the only thing she is able to figure out is that someone has managed to access government surveillance sites without their knowledge, and is using them to watch the two of them in the car. 
She tries to figure out what is going on but they begin hearing police sirens behind them. Once again, the man tells them to outrun the police cars and even brings up an old article that he was mentioned for being good at wrecking race cars. The man assures him that even though he was getting bad reviews, he still had skills that were of use to him. He instructs him to go to a power plant and wait for his next assignment there. The girl figures out that the man wants to shut off the lights in the city. Brent hides from the police until they are gone, giving him a chance to talk to the girl. He tells her that he was a racer but had gotten mixed up with bad people. After he met his wife, he decided to get out and they were planning to restart their life when his wife was taken away. Hearing this, the girl confesses that her father runs the largest bank in the city, and has given her the car as a present. Brent starts driving again and reaches the power plant. He immediately notices that someone has been there before them. The girl offers to go inside and shut off the lights while Brent stays in the car. The girl goes into a room with multiple monitors and calls the police. As soon as they pick up, she tells them that she needs help and that a man is holding a woman hostage. To her surprise, the man answers her 911 call and tells her that he is smarter than her and has taken a picture of her so that she can be blamed for blowing up the plant. This is when she realizes that the man is planning on blowing up the power plant and blaming her for the crime. She rushes out and screams at Brent to start driving just as she jumps back in the car. The two of them barely manage to escape the bomb as the city's lights go off. Once they are away from the plant, the girl gets out of the car and tells Brent that she cannot die for him. She wishes him luck and walks away. At the same time, Brent's cell phone begins ringing again and when he answers, his wife is shown on the screen the man reminds Brent that he was told not to let the girl go. As his punishment, he is going to kill his wife. Then, his wife screams just as the screen goes black and he hangs up the phone. The girl, who had been standing outside, hears the call and decides to get back into the car. Brent begins driving once again but as soon as he enters the city streets, a patrol car notices them. He drives into a parking lot and hides the car until the patrol car leaves. At this point, the man calls them again and instructs them to go to a bank and rob it. The girl realizes that it is her father's bank and begs Brent to not go there. She tells him that her father has an investment bank and that there is no cash at the bank. The man is only trying to trap them because the bank will be swarming with police. At first, he does not listen to her but then takes a different route to the bank. From the opposite side of the road, they notice the bank surrounded by police. This is when the girl tells Brent that the money in her father's bank is kept safe in a hard drive. Since most of it is illegal, no one will file a police report if it goes missing. She informs him that she has an idea and records a short video of the two of them in the car and plays it on a loop. Meanwhile, the man watches as the inscription key from the bank is being prepped to transfer to a secure location. He sends his men to steal the hard drive, but before they can take it, Brent crashes into them and manages to take the inscription key. Several men on motorbikes start following them but Brent is able to get rid of them. However, he soon finds himself surrounded by police cars. He grabs the gun and pretends like the girl is his hostage, causing all the police cars to back up. He backs up his own car and starts speeding away when he notices a man on a bike following them. They drive to an abandoned railway where the man chases the two of them. Not long after, Brent shoots at an oil barrel, causing an explosion. Later that night, the girl gets out of the car and tells Brent that they need to negotiate an exchange with the man. She hacks into one of the car's cameras and gives the Sofia Police Department access to live footage. Brent answers the man's call and tells him that they are going to exchange the hard drive for his wife. Soon, he drives up to their meeting place where Brent's wife is given to them in exchange for the hard drive. Suddenly, they are surrounded by the police, and in this chaos, the man takes the girl as a hostage and drives away. With no other choice left, Brent chases after them. The girl turns on her camera and manages to show Brent where they are headed. He makes it to a park when all of a sudden, the man tells the girl to get out of the car and pushes her out. However, Brent, who had been driving at a very fast speed, is about to crash into the girl but hits the brakes at the last minute, causing his car to flip. With the girl rescued, the police soon surround the area and arrest the kidnappers. Just when Brent relaxes, he hears a cell phone ringing. He grabs it out of his wife's pocket and answers it. The man tells Brent that he has done all of this to make him realize that he still has potential as a race car driver. The movie ends with the man on the other side of the world, packing up his laptop and leaving a restaurant, billions of dollars richer. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and turn on the notifications to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.